My name is Craig Stevenson. I'm with the Oros Group. We provide technology and sustainability consultancy for high performance buildings. Buildings are playing a major role in climate change and how we deal with it. So owners are willing to make an investment in their building's performance, but they want some proof that their investment's paying off. And ultimately that's what we do. We use Pi to do that because Pi gives us the ability to take data, real-time data from the buildings and use it to calibrate whole building operational energy modeling. And then Pi also has the capability to take the simulation targets from that same model and bring it back into an environment that we can look at it right next to the trend of data, which is really cool. It just doesn't exist today. We use Pi Cloud Connect to connect universities to our buildings. Carnegie Mellon University is using our projects as learning laboratories to teach students how to use Pi, how to create the next analytics that are going to help us in optimization and performance, and also from a technology perspective, they're able to use our building uh, to test out their next technologies. Duquesne University is a business school. They have a sustainability MBA program, and those students are tasked with doing financial modeling. So when we talk about transforming buildings to an, a performance that's 80% better than the standard they're at today, Duquesne University, their practice, their, their pedagogy is around what's the financial model? How do I get the payback from that? Duquesne University is using smart buildings to do that work. When it comes to decision making, we want owners to invest in the performance of their buildings, doing things like envelope optimization. That's where universities are coming in and doing financial modeling and saying this does pay. And we're talking about a 50% transformation in energy costs. When you amortize that over 20 years, the number is a really large number. When you add to that the value of health and occupant benefit, that number is times 10. We've done projects um, for normal commercial office buildings where we've reduced their energy consumption by 42%. It literally through uh, natural triggers of renovations, deferred maintenance and life cycles. But when you create an energy plan like that using an operational energy model, those changes are easy to make. The more difficult ones are the ones where we're transforming buildings by up to 85% and using uh, passive house standards like an Enterfit program to completely transform a building tower in Pittsburgh from a consumption of $950,000 a year to $200,000 a year. And that happens a lot when you consider the passive house building science and commercial buildings. What Pi gives us is the opportunity to look at outcome-based criteria and have buildings perform as they were intended to perform. So when you talk about evidence, evidence has a way of cutting through the passion, removing passion from the conversation, and Pi is the infrastructure for all of that. I'm Craig Stevenson, and that's my Pi story.